Hey, this is Gabby. This video is me explaining how I got this sick ass car. And to make a long story short, it's because I'm dumb. <laughs> this video also covers why my knife building project was a complete failure. It should not have been attempted. If you haven't watched the first part of this video series yet, it shows a lot more of what happened and I think it tells the story a little bit better. There's a link in the description. Here's failure number one. I tried doing bulk removal on a thick piece of steel to make my knife blank. Don't try to shave off dozens of millimeters of steel just to make a skinny blade. Start with an already thin piece of metal and then form your blank. The longer you spend grinding away at a thick piece of steel, the higher the chance that you will get the steel too hot and thus ruin the steel's heat treatment. Here's failures two, three, and four. The first failure is using the cutoff blade to try and shave the metal at a very steep angle. Cutoff blades are only designed to be perpendicular to what they're cutting. Cutting at an angle puts too much stress on the blade and thus will cause it to shatter. Failure number three is not having the angle grinder's guard on while I was cutting. It would have most definitely protected my finger from, from the blade exploding. Failure number four is not wearing all the protection I should have been wearing. And that includes gloves, eye protection, I and neck protection. I wear all of those things now, especially neck protection. In a slightly different situation, oh, no, that shard from the cutoff blade could have flown into my jugular. And that probably would have been lethal. Failure five is not knowing how to heat treat a knife before actually heat treating a knife. This part was my attempt at hardening the knife. The fire I was using was made using coal, which burns extremely hot. And the knife was probably already hot enough to quench at around one to two minutes in the coal fire. But I left the knife in for eight minutes, which obviously caused it to melt. The knife also wasn't actually made out of high carbon steel either. It was made out of some random mild steel I found laying around the farm. And I, I already knew that you couldn't heat treat mild steel, but I, I was part curious, part just wanting to practice. So there's, <laughs> there's all the mistakes I've made when trying to build my first uh, real knife <laughs> back in 2015. If you like the kind of videos I make and you want to stay up to date on what I'm doing channel wise, you can check out my Facebook page where I give weekly updates on what I'm going to make for that week, video, video wise, or if I'm going on vacation or sometimes I like to post cool stuff that I watch on YouTube on my Facebook page. Also, if you have any questions, you want to talk about farming, guns, knife making, I wouldn't talk to me about <laughs> anything, you can hit me up on, on Facebook. But anyways, thanks for watching.